Hello everyone. Just a quick update on the Reformation series. We are at last getting some completed episodes to EWTN. Thank you all for being so patient. It's 11 episodes and they take quite a while to complete. Here is a quick look at episode 1, which should be shown in early May. Please keep an eye on my Facebook or YouTube channel for future updates and dates and broadcast times. I will be appearing on EWTN Live with Father Mitch Pacwa to introduce the series also in May at the premiere. Today I thought it would be a good time to have a look back at an earlier production we made, this time on the Crusades. First I must say a quick thank you to Michael Benko, my cinematographer, who I've been collaborating with for now for eight years. Thank you, Michael. The Crusades was a four-part documentary with certain live action sequences, but no dialogue this time, just narration and expert comment. Here I wanted to give the real picture and reasons for the Crusades. So often the modern media simply do not tell the whole story and tend to gloss over the real reasons that Christendom was almost overrun by Islam. Well, two-thirds of Christendom had, and Christian pilgrims were routinely being massacred on their way to Jerusalem. This is ignored today by the secular media. This stems back to the 19th century, when negative views of the Crusades prevailed. Also, modern secular assertions are now being corrected by the latest scholarship, with professors such as Jonathan Riley Smith, Thomas Madden, Jonathan Phillips, and Damien Smith, in fact, the late Jonathan Riley Smith can be said to be the father of modern crusader scholarship. One of the main falsehoods often given by the secular media was that the Crusades were Christian wars of conquest to force people to become Christians. However, this was not allowed by the church. A crusade could only operate in former Christian lands to win them back. Christians could only evangelise by peaceful missionary means and preaching, unlike Islam, who did convert lands and their peoples by the swords. Another falsehood was that the Crusades comprised of younger landless sons in search of land. This is simply incorrect. The Crusades comprised of Christians of all social cl classes. The nobles who funded the Crusades paid for them out of their own pockets. Some it cost their entire estates, and many paid with their lives. I've put together a little music video with the open music from our series, with some pictures and clips. Also, if you'd like to know more and help our work, you can buy a DVD from EWTN or the Latin Mass Society. Please see the links to their catalogues below. If you have any questions or would like to leave a comment, please do so below. Here is a copy of the DVD. Thanks for watching. Oh